Hello, it is Monday, November 20th, 2023. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It is a Monday crossword today, which means we're going to kick off the solving week with what should be a fairly gentle, approachable, themed crossword. Um, that is what we get on Mondays. Should be um, should be a nice, gentle ride. So let's try it out. And this hopefully uh, approachable edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by Alex, Laura Sexton, Victoria Rojishka, and as always, the indomitable Showmaster and the incredible Horan family. So thank you so much to the five of them. They are, of course, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign. They keep this channel going. They sustain the series with their contributions, and I'm very grateful. So thank you to them. Thank you to you if you're a patron, and thank you to everybody who has uh, contributed to the channel in that way. And if you'd like to do so, if consider doing so, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily solve, or click the link in the description field underneath the video where you can find all of the bonus videos, which now does include this week's mini puzzle pseudo speed salt. I got that uh, up yesterday, slightly late, um, as well as all the other bonus videos. And um, also the official Let's Check the Crosses mug for benefactors. Um, so thank you again to everybody who contributes. And thanks if you've subscribed to the channel, liked the videos, commented, any of those things. Those are all very helpful if you'd like to help out the channel in a small way. Uh, so thanks if you've done that. And finally, there's the Daily Solve Discord chat server, which can be joined via a description field link as well. And that is a nice friendly chat community worth visiting. So there you go. Let's get on to today's crossword. This is a Monday construction by Sam Azerski, who is um, probably best known as the editor of the Daily New York Times um, Spelling Bee puzzle. Uh, but he's also responsible for, I think, four or five dozen crosswords for the New York Times. So a very experienced crossword constructor as well. And we'll see what he's got in store for us today. This was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. Let's start solving. Okay, name that fills in the blanks to make another name. Um, looks like Ava would go into Savannah pretty cleanly. So we'll go ahead and do that. Build up over time to a crew that doesn't fit. Uh, no, yes, it does. Why did I say that doesn't fit? <laughs> Not sure what I was thinking there. Sorry, I typed half of it, thought, thought it was wrong. It wasn't. To have a ball at the mall is to shop, I assume. Um... I don't know. I mean, shop isn't necessarily having a ball, but I think it's just a little rhyme. And I think that's what that means. Acquires, if you acquire something, you get it. So gets, let's see how long I can go without switching to the downs. Foe's opposite, friend or foe. Blank stick toy. In four letters, pogo stick would work and it looks like it wouldn't cause any big conflicts with the crossing letters. Prefix with toxin or oxidant, and an antitoxin or antioxidant, I suspect is the answer here. Where to find singles, a match, and love. Right, so this is a dating app or something? Um, it's not very punny, but maybe the puns come from... No, that doesn't fit anyway. Never mind, never mind. Uh, oh, a tennis match. Because you have singles rather than doubles tennis, a match, a game of tennis, and then love, a score of zero. Uh, tennis match? And then in the circles we have I-M-T-H, right, okay, or, yeah, I don't know what that means. Do I think this is right? I don't know, I have no idea if I think this is right. Uh... I don't know. The thing that I was expecting to happen was matched to be in the circles for some reason, but I don't know why I particularly thought that would be the case. I don't think that's right. I don't think it's right. Not moving. If you're not moving, you're still the A of 10, Jack, Queen, King, Ace. There we go. Misplaces, loses, as in a, a, oops, an item. Exasperated cry you might make when being turned over to voicemail. Okay, I don't, I'm going to have to switch to the dots. <laughs> I'm not going to solve these things that way. Audibly shocked, you're aghast, or gasp. The gasp is the audible part. Large size at Starbucks, venti, there we go. Room under a roof would be an attic. Toward the back at sea would be aft, so towards the back of the boat. To manufacture something is to create it. A sure thing is a cinch. Yes, you could say that's a cinch. It's a sure thing. Zellweger of Bridget Jones's diary, Renee Zellweger. 
So this is going to start with tennis. Half of duo would be uh, uni, so half of two would be one. And masthead figures. So the masthead in a newspaper is the bit that um, lists the, the staff. So editors could be figures in the masthead. And to curl up and cuddle together is to spoon. Congressional VIP is a house something. The House of Representatives is what this is referring to, but I'm not sure. Meanie, an ogre, is a way to refer to someone who's very mean, potentially. And here we have pots and pans. Oh, a tennis court. Of course, that's where that's where you find these things. That's the place. So I still don't see what's going on with the circles. I C U T. I cut. I don't know. I'm not, not sure yet. Oh, but that's also here. This could be a U. Oh, pick up the phone. Exasperated cry you might make when turned over, being turned over to voicemail. Pick up the phone, you might yell. But but yes, it has that I-C-U-T in there as well. So they all will then, I guess. Form of social diversity, we'll come back to that. Disposable bit of cutlery, we'll come back to that. Um, I, I assume these are all going to be like that. Let's look at this. Mario's brother. Yes, Mario from the Super Mario Brother games. His brother is Luigi. And a series of steps could be hmm, a trail or a dance or something. Not sure. Neighbor of Bolivia, Peru. Bob, Buzz, or Beehive. A haircut? I don't think I know. Oh, a buzz cut. Yes, I do. Of course I know what that is. Right. Okay. There we go. To gobble something down is to eat it. And to congeal, as in blood, for instance, is to clot. Uh, some high-end headwear. Silk caps or silk hats or silk i'm not sure bring on staff is to hire somebody uh, oh so this is silk hats then we're cleared for takeoff it's a go there we go maybe in a launching a spacecraft or something computer debut of 1998 the imac i think came out that year toothpaste holder is a tube tube of toothpaste of course to wait till morning to decide something is to sleep on it uh, so here we have $5 bills in slang are Abe's. Letter repeated in the symbol for closed captioning is C, so CC. That's pretty straightforward given that it's also in the clue. Uh, that's more generous than usual. Uh, anyway, this looks like multiculturalism. Yes, form of social diversity. There we go. Great. Okay, cunning. A, a cunning person is sly. Spanish suffix with senor, uh, senorita. There we go. Feminine form of the noun. And Apple device assistant would be Siri. The conflict of 1914 to 1918 in brief would be the First World War, World War I, the Great War. Your wish is my command, a genie might say. And a bit of smoke is a wisp of smoke. A series of steps is a process. I see, there we go. So just a you know, list of things to do to achieve something. Congressional VIP is a house. Why do I still not see what this is? Oh, a house whip, maybe. Uh, right, okay, a whip for a party. So that, those are the people who um, who kind of cajole members of their party to vote for the party kind of line, you know, for to, to vote for the party's choice on a particular matter. Okay, Greek letters before chi's. Or, uh, oh, no, I don't know. Um... Oh, phi. There we go. There we go. Okay, sorry. This completely blanked on that. Uh, really bad informally. Choppy. This is, you could say this is a choppy situation. It's really bad. Maybe. Not 100% certain about that. To be kind, to follow the rules, etc. To play nice. Right. So, oh, crappy is really bad. There we go. Okay, that, that's a better match. In the shape of a rainbow would be arced straightforward. Peanuts character who pranks Charlie Brown with a football. That would be Lucy who uh, brings the foot, swipes the football away at the last moment every time. Here we have blank tax monopoly square. I don't know. I mean, it doesn't look like income tax. What is it? I don't know. Honestly, I'm not sure. 
Okay, this looks like Enya. Yes, one named singer from Ireland is Enya. A condo for one is a unit, so a, you could buy a unit in a building, a condominium, um, a home inside of a larger building. And Greek <laughs> Greek letter after chi would be uh, psi. So hors d'oeuvre spread, pate, liver, liver spread. And disposable bit of cutlery is a plastic utensil. There we go. So I'm really, oh, I cut, you cut the phone, you cut with a knife. I'm not sure what that means with tennis court or multiculturalism though. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with this just yet. Um, midday meal is lunch. Too rich for my blood. I'm out. There we go. Maybe the, the, um, the wager is getting too high in a game of poker or something. Some Italian desserts, ices, Italian ices, maybe. Myers of late night, there's a Seth Myers, so there we go. To act dejected is to mope, to be downcast. Huge would be epic. And the constitution state, or when parsed differently, what you gradually do with this puzzle's circle of letters. Right, so Connecticut, connect, I cut. Ridiculous. Okay, so what you gradually do with this puzzle's circle of letters, you connect I C Q T. Oh, oh, I see. Sorry, I, I didn't even pick up on this. I right up here they start all separated. Here the I and the C correct connect. Here we move the U in, and finally here all four letters of I C U T are connected. So we have followed the instructions phonetically from this state name to connect ICUT. Ridiculous. <laughs> what a ludicrous theme. Completely uh, nonsensical. But there we go. We've, we've figured it out finally. It only took me until, the, the, <laughs> until I'd filled in every single cell related to the theme. Uh, journalist Gwen. Gwen Eiffel is a journalist, a U.S. journalist. Drink served with marshmallows is cocoa. Uh, unexpected problems are um, snags. An ice house is an igloo. High as goals would be lofty goals. So dog from down under is a is a dingo. There we go. Cl classic Australian dingo. And uh, cow's offspring is a calf. Acronym for a quartet of entertainment awards is EGOT, which is Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, Tony, and soy sauce. There we go. Simple enough. Cunning animal is a fox, which are ubiquitous here in London. They're absolutely everywhere. Uh, oh, luxury tax, I guess, in Monopoly Square. Okay, I don't even remember that one, but there we go. If something is in abundance, it's galore, you could say. We had puns galore in this crossword. Actually, not so much today, really, but we had one big one in the, uh, in the theme. Sci-fi film tech, for short, would be CGI, um, computer graphics or computer generated imagery, I guess. Color of khakis is tan, so it's in khaki trousers. And embedded pieces are inlays, like in a little wooden inlay or something. French for your is te, that's the informal your, and there we go. That was the Monday crossword. So um, a pretty gentle puzzle overall, but I um, <laughs> took me quite a while to understand what was going on with this theme. So we had our tennis court, pick up the phone, multiculturalism, and plastic utensils, all of which move progressively to follow the instruction connect ICUT as phonetically found within the state name of Connecticut. And there we have it, a very silly theme, but um, not too taxing. And that's what we look for on a Monday to kick off the solving week. So there we have it. Thank you, Sam Azersky, for a fun puzzle. Hope you enjoyed it as well. And I will, of course, be back tomorrow for the Tuesday edition of The Crossroad. It should be another relatively gentle one. So let's find out. But uh, until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Monday. Take care. Mm -hmm.